Alright guys, check it out. Very, very overstocked tank, right? If you wonder what's going on, um, I'm going to cut over and show you my 75. These are all my fish from my 75. Um, they've been in this tank for a little over 24 hours. Um, I don't plan on leaving them in here another 24 hours. They should be back in their tank by tomorrow. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do today is something a little different. Um, this tank is really, really overstocked before anybody freaks out. Like I said, they've been in here about 26, 27 hours right now. Everybody's fine. I've had no deaths. Um, but we're going to go ahead and check the water just to see, you know, if, um, you know, what the water looks like. If I need to do a quick water change or, or what I need to do. Um, you know, like I said, there there is some changes going on with my 75. I told you guys that in a previous video that I was going to be doing some new stuff with it. Um, I ended up deciding to move all the fish out of it. And I will have a full video on that of me breaking it down, setting it back up, and everything I did. Um, so I'm going to cut over, let you guys check out what the 75 looks like right now, a little sneak peek. And then I'm going to cut back and we're going to test this water just to see, you know, what the levels are at with all these fish in here. Stay tuned, guys. I know, it looks different, don't it? Well, here's your quick look at the 75. Um, I'm not going to give too many details away. Make sure you guys subscribe. I will have a video up of me breaking it down and putting it back together. So, we'll get back to what we were doing. Alright guys, so I got all my water set up here. And we're going to go ahead and test for everything. So, um, for those of you who have, who have done this before and seen how you do it, I'll go ahead and show you guys, but I'll speed it up. So... We're not sitting here looking at it for 15 minutes. Um, I'll go ahead and test for the nitrates, the nitrite, the ammonia, and the pH. And then um, I will cut it, and then we can watch it. I'll speed it up for you guys. So you can see the water colors changing, and then we'll see what the results are, and we'll talk about that. Alright guys, so there you have it. Um, my nitrates are sitting, I'm going to call that about 40 parts. Maybe 30. Maybe in between 20 and 30. Um, it actually looks a little bit lighter on the screen than it actually is. It looks a little darker in person. So I'm going to call that about 30. Zero nitrite. Um, zero ammonia. My pH is a little high. It's sitting about an 8. Maybe an 8.1. Um... My water is hard. I set it about 7.5 to 7.8 normally. So uh, I'm going to do a water change on this tank and, you know, call it good. I, 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 with all the fish that are in there, I think everything's fine. Um, so I just want to show you guys that even with a heavily stocked tank, if you have proper filtration, that you can still achieve, you know, your goals of lower or no nitrite, no ammonia, and lower nitrates. Um, it's been about two weeks since I've done a water change on the tank, and it's only at 30 parts. So, if it had a water change, I'd get down to, you know, 10, 15. Um, I think our water has about, um, uh, I want to say our water sits at about 10. So, you know, the lowest I could get is 10. But, there you go, guys. Um, you know, I hope somebody learned something from this. Like I said, always test your water. These kits, they're a little expensive, but they're a must-have. They're, you know you gotta have these. You know, if you're keeping fish, definitely invest in one of these. But alright guys, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later.